Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I'll be making two cards using the December card kit by Simon Says Stamp. Before I get started, let's take a look at uh, what's inside the kit. So we get this great clear stamp set, as well as the Distress Embossing Ink. This is by Tim Holtz and it uh, works uh, just like uh, Versamark. And uh, you also get two uh, pots of embossing powder. The one is Liquid Platinum and the other one is uh, Enchanted Gold. You also get a ton of uh, cardstock as well as this vellum. And uh, my favorite of all is uh, this uh, silver metallic cardstock, which I'm going to be using using and uh, also there are some sequins in gold and silver colors so let's get started with the first card for my first card i'm using this uh, cardstock that's in uh, silver metallic uh, color and i'm cutting it out in uh, two pieces so i can uh, use my rectangular die and just die cut uh, one shape. For uh, the cards that I'm uh, making today I'll uh, try to keep uh, all uh, my supplies minimum to whatever is inside the kit. However I'm using this die because it's new and I just wanted to use it but uh, in case you don't have this die with the stitching uh, all around you can just use your uh, paper trimmer and just cut a panel uh, which is slightly smaller than the standard card. All the goodies that are in uh, the kit today are uh, about embossing. So I'll go wild today and I'll make both cards using a embossing uh, technique. For this card I'll be using, just like I said, only supplies from uh, the kit. So I'm using my embossing ink pad from the kit and I'm applying uh, some embossing ink on uh, top of the sentiment as well as the round shape from the stamp set. I'm going to stab it at the center of uh, my silver panel. And once uh, I'm happy with my stamping, I can go ahead and apply the embossing powder. Now the embossing powder I'm using now is liquid platinum. And as I'm uh, doing that, just to let you know that there is a giveaway on my blog today. So if you want a chance to win this December card kit by Simon Says Stamp, make sure to visit my blog and enter your name. And I just love the outcome. Look how awesome uh, this uh, embossing powder looks on the top of the metallic cardstock. From uh, the white cardstock that was included in the kit, I went ahead and created a standard card. That's a top folding card that's four and a quarter by five and a half. And just because my sentiment says uh, sparkle and shine, I want this card to be super shiny. And that's why I want to get rid of the white border that will show if I stick my silver panel on top of my card. So I'm using my Distress Embossing Ink again and I'll just go all over the edges of my card. And once uh, my ink is there, I'll uh, use my Enchanted Gold Embossing Powder. I can uh, play more with uh, the embossing technique that I love so much as well as have the opportunity to try this uh, gold embossing powder. And here is the outcome, I have already hit set that. Now what I love about this is, uh, is it that it's super shiny, I just love the outcome. I wish that uh, the video could give it justice. And uh, I love that uh, it's uh, so glittery, but uh, the glitter doesn't go anywhere. Now that I'm done with my card base, I can uh, go ahead and stick my panel on top of my card. I've used uh, a lot of foam squares at the back just to add a bit of dimension. And now for the finishing touches, with, uh, which will actually make the card. So I'll be using uh, lots of uh, those sequins that are included in the kit. And I love that, that uh, they are both in uh, silver and gold uh, color. And since my card has uh, both silver and gold, I think that it will uh, look uh, so pretty. So I'm using my quick stick there and decide where everything is going to go and once I'm happy with the placement I'm uh, going to use some uh, matte medium and stick them on top of my card. If you notice I'm keeping my sequins close to the round shape and uh, not too far away from it. Now I'm fighting with uh, those sequins and I was fighting for a while but I will not torture you and you don't have to see me sticking each and every one of those sequins on my card. And here is the final card. I think it came out so pretty. I just love the outcome. 
And since I'm using uh, supplies only from the kit and uh, using all uh, my other supplies to minimal, you'll see that uh, both cards are uh, clean and simple and very easy to replicate. So let's go uh, on with the second card for today. Somehow I've lost the first part of the video, but uh, all I did was emboss that uh, line of tiny hearts on top of my panel. If you notice on uh, the stamp set, that line of hearts is uh, a straight line, but I mounted on uh, my block slightly curved. And I've stamped it uh, twice in a row to create this bigger uh, line, which is going to be a string later on for uh, hanging my banners. But you'll see what I mean later on. So now I also went ahead and... Um, stamped my banner of uh, triangles at the very bottom and now I'll uh, stamp also my sentiment which is um, let's celebrate everything uh, every stamp that I'm using today is from the same uh, stamp set now I'll uh, go ahead and uh, stamp the flags there are three different sizes of flags that are available in the stamp set I'm also using my embossing ink pad and I'm going to stamp these uh, three flags twice, so I end up with uh, six flags uh, in total. And again, I'm going to emboss everything with uh, liquid platinum. Now that my flags are nicely embossed, I'll uh, go ahead and use my scissors and cut around them. And once I have all six flags uh, separated, I can uh, stick them on uh, top of my panel uh, using foam squares. I'm adding foam squares just to add a bit of dimension. And I'll just uh, stick them as if they are hanging from that uh, line of uh, tiny little hearts that I have created. For my panel, I've used sea glass cardstock that was included in the kit. That's an exclusive cardstock by Simon Says Stamp, and I think it's a perfect combination with that uh, silver uh, embossing powder. And just like I did on my first card, I've used that uh, stitched uh, rectangular die, and the die cut that uh, rectangular shape, which uh, I'm going to mount on top of my card base. Now, if you don't have that die, don't worry, you can just use your paper trimmer and uh, cut out a, a panel that's slightly smaller than your card base. I just love to do that because it uh, creates a border all around my card, and uh, my card looks uh, more finished. I have already created my card base by using that uh, silver metallic uh, cardstock that uh, I have also used a part of it on the first card. My card base is a standard card that's four and a quarter by five and a half, and I'm using uh, my tape runner at the back of the panel, and I'll stick it on top of my card base. So my card is almost ready. I'll just uh, go ahead and add the finishing touches. So just because I've used only um, silver metallic on top of uh, my card, I'll only stick with uh, the silver sequins. I'll just decide where everything is going to go. And now I'm using my glue pen to stick everything down. What I love about this card is that uh, it's clean and simple and at the same time it's very versatile and it could be used in uh, any occasion from birthdays to anniversaries, weddings uh, and uh, whatever comes to mind. I had so much fun making these cards today and uh, if you love embossing then uh, this card kit is just for you. Don't forget to visit my blog and enter the giveaway for a chance to win this card kit by Simon Says Stamp. And these were the cards for today, I hope you had fun and got inspired. And if you did, don't forget to leave me a comment as well as give me thumbs up on my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching!